As we approach the end of the year, I'm getting a lot of questions about merchant lending and merchant funding advance accounts. Do you need to track them? Well, I'm Jay from High Rock and I got your answer. Yes, you do need to track them because you need to know how much of that is going to the payment that is going to the regular payments that you're receiving and how much of that is going to the liability account, which is the amount you owe to the funding account. It's important that you track that because you want to know how much longer you have to pay it and how long you have to deal with it. Now, a lot of that depends on how you recorded that when you accepted that loan. Odds are you owe more than you received on that loan account because there are fees involved and those fees are usually deducted. Now, if you're on a cash basis, accounting method, you could probably deduct that right away and not worry about it. But if you're not and you're on accrual, you want to, you really want to deduct that when those payments are going through and actually recording that fee as a percentage of the payments that you're making over the period. And the whole goal is to get to the time when that's completely paid off and on your books, you should see a zero balance. If you don't see a zero balance, odds are you didn't record the correct liability amount because you didn't record the fees up front. So you want to definitely look at that. So make sure you check your merchant funding accounts, merchant lending accounts, and your merchant funding advance accounts, and make sure they're on your books. And if you're paying them down, they go to a zero. Again, I'm Jay from High Rock and I got your answers.